and welcome into Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit is brought to you by Alaga Whitfield Foods because they're the sponsor of the creative living and cooking section at the Alabama National Fair, which is right around the corner, October the 8th through October the 17th. And in the area of cooking a meal using Alabama products and an Alaga specific product, we have with us Melissa Welch with a an avocado, an avocado, an enchilada. <laughs> it probably, we could have an avocado too, but maybe an enchilada to die for. This looks so good. It is good. <laughs> it walk, is. Us, walk us through so the audience loves your recipes. Well, thank you. This is one that's good, and this was a main dish, and it was, it was focusing on using an Alaga product as well as an Alabama product. So I began this with a pound of lean hamburger meat, and I browned it, and to that, oh. I wanted to do the Alabama product that I chose was wonderful Koneka sausage, and mm -hmm. I, I did the, did the, the, the original oh. mild Koneka sausage, mm -hmm. and, the, and what I did to that is about a half a pound, and you take the casing off and it's really easy to take the oh, casing yeah, off yeah. of that to use it for recipes right. if you don't want that casing and so i just did a small slit and then just peel that casing back and then i chopped it in my food processor so it was like returning it to salt but you know just right, ground right. Wow. and then, right. then i brown that in the skillet uh, and drain that off and then i add um, onion and bell pepper and you cook that, saute that just, just a little bit because you don't have to really get it too done because it's gonna continue to cook in the oven. But to that, um, I've added a can of cream of chicken soup. Uh, that is, um, don't add water, it's just this cream of chicken soup. Mm -hmm. a little dash of pepper just for a little bit of taste and um, some Koneka seasoning. Most people don't realize that we have Koneka seasonings, we but do. that's an al another good. Alabama product and it's a really wonderful product as well. Yeah, and then, um, is that a meat seasoning? Well, you can do anything. This is poultry this is pork, poultry, and okay. wild game. And wow. they also have another one that that's for others. But mm -hmm. it's it's a wonderful flavor. Um, but um, I mix those together, and then um, add add in just about a tablespoon of Alaga hot sauce, which gives it a, a very distinct, very good flavor. Mm -hmm. And this is not hot. This is not overly hot. If it's something that you know you right, can't right. you can't eat hot. This is not hot, and, and we know most Mexican food, like enchiladas, are not hot. They're just flavorful, mm -hmm. so this gives it a lot of flavor. So basically, I cook that, and then to the skillet, I'm gonna add an eight ounce pack of cream cheese and just mix that just enough to melt it in, and you'll need a um, 10 pack of your eight inch, any brand that you choose to use, um, uh, tortillas, and flour you tortillas. Use the flour I do the use the flour okay. tortillas, mm -hmm. and so I, I Mix that all together and then I lay out the tortillas. I like to lay out wax paper on my counter and just kind of lay them out so I can kind of get an even measure of what I want to put in. Because you know, you may get a fat one at the beginning and the back <laughs> ones are, are not so fat. So we want them kind of even. And then it's um, one can of red enchilada sauce, Old El Paso, and then one can of um, green, uh, it, green sauce, enchilada sauce as well. Mm -hmm. And I forgot to say that I added uh, one can of chopped chilies and these are mild Ooh. as well you okay. can season however now, you want did you, to did you added that in when you were doing i added the, that in when with when the, i did the, the cream cheese mixture and everything and yes okay. i did that's all on the recipe by the way <laughs> it, you can get the recipe by you I'll, we'll tell you on the on the screen how to get the recipe yeah we'll do that but but then you roll them up and you put about a half a can of the red enchilada sauce in the bottom so you've got a little bit it won't stick ah, and just a lightly greased uh, oven hint. bake and this will make a 9 by 13 pan okay, okay. but I, I did a small one because you know when your children get married and or they leave home for whatever reason you, huh. you don't cook as big so That's it's true. hard to cook small That's I have a is. hard time so what I like to do is to divide it between two two dishes or even three you this could be divided between three dishes but um, you put this in and then you put um, the, the rest of the red sauce and the uh, green sauce on top and then sprinkle it with cheese and you bake. But what I like to do is to have a, um, a disposable pan right? and then uh -huh. I will fill. So I have six in that one of the ten and, and this I have not put okay. any of the cheese on top I'm because we're going to do that. Yeah. We're going to put the cheese, you put the sauce on it and mm -hmm. I cover it with the wax paper so it doesn't stick to the right. lid. You're well, so Melissa. Sweet. Thank you so much. This was wonderful. And again, if you want the recipe, we're going to give you the information. We'll either email it to you. That's the preferred way. Or we'll 
send it to you by the regular mail. It? Also, when you do get them, we were doing actually six segments. So we're going to give you six different recipes. You may just be calling for the enchilada. And you might want, what's the ribs? What's this? Because when you see one, you're going to want them all. So we'll give right. you all at the same time. Remember <laughs> the fair, October 8th through the 17th. We'll be right back right after this.